Welcome to our 10th video in our SOLIDWORKS What's New for 2025 series. My name is Ed Hawkins and over the next few minutes I'll take you through the updates to SOLIDWORKS Electrical in 2025. Let's start with the new interface configuration preference to zoom to fit when opening drawings. If you're neat and tidy like me, you're going to appreciate every document opening to the perfect view. This will be especially valuable to save time when moving between electrical schematic sheets in large projects. The Proteus V2 project is wired with 100% off the shelf cables and connectors. All these are fully defined inside my electrical project, but how did all these details get into my library? Using the new Excel import tool and template, I can swiftly bring these components into SOLIDWORKS Electrical fully defined. Let's generate a new connector template. The properties in each column correspond exactly to what you're used to, and the template clearly indicates what is mandatory or required. There's even data validation for existing values in your library. These values update with subsequent exports of a template as your library grows and you have new standard values. Manufacturer parts can be defined including the circuit and terminal details. Note the use of different separators for both circuits and terminals within those circuits. With this import tool, you can quickly add your exact content with all possible details to the library. Like I mentioned earlier, the Excel import can extend to cables as well, and I can define them completely with cable cores. We need a lot of cables for this machine, so good thing cable management and configuration has been improved for a better user experience. Like this fuse power plug AC1. First, the mark root parameter is added in the properties tab. When you add this cable to a project from now on, this will be PWR. Also note, Cable characteristics are separated from the conductor defaults, reducing confusion as to which property relates to the entire cable versus individual conductors. In this cable, the cable cores were all defined fully using the Excel import. Next, a new cable shortcut menu, properties, but also go to drawing, from a cable jumps to where the cable is located, normally a line diagram, go to drawing, from a core jumps to a scheme where the cable core starts, Go to Browser shows the origin component of the cable core in the tree. Next, from Cable Manager, you can now delete a cable even if it is used in a schematic or line diagram. Using Preview allows you to check this is correct first. The wires associated with their cable cores are disassociated. Let's add a new two conductor power cable. Remember the mark route we defined a minute ago? PWR, using filters makes browsing for cables in your library even easier. Let's hook up these cores. Notice the PWR mark on the note. If I want to get more sophisticated in my naming, I can use new variables that have been added to cable mark formulas, like position variables, origin and destination variables. If we modify the cable mark formula to the origin and destination component, this can help save you time by making it easier to identify which component a particular cable is attached to. Notice the AC1 component and how representations of a manufacturer part are displayed in the component tree. This has been restructured for simplicity and organisation. Under each component there is one new node for each manufacturer part associated to the component, plus an intermediate node for each symbol representing that part. For AC1 we have the representation on the line diagram, the schematic and the flattened harness drawing. That's right, this project drawing from SOLIDWORKS 3D is now fully intelligent. Under the hood, electrical project drawings from the 3D side are now authored with blocks. These blocks link footprint line art with the corresponding component. This means manufacturer part properties, hotspot linking and more. 
This even flows through to the PDF export. The project drawings look all nice and pretty, but how about we do some design? One task for today is to add a splice to extend my ground loop directly to the chassis. This means I'll have to update the 2D design, the 3D route and the flattened harness drawing. Let's start by finishing this schematic representation, extending the ground circuit to the chassis via the ring terminal. There's my new splice and it's right on top of my EW path sketch. So all my wiring will be routed through there in one entity. In 2025, Flatten Root now prevents the creation of a loop where there's a splice directly on top of the path. SolidWorks now uses existing sketch segments passing through the splice component instead of adding new sketch segments for the unspliced wires. This avoids creation of loops at the splice components. The Flatten Root also offers improved support for complex and multi circuit splices. For example, Identifying the junction points in loop segments and moving them to the flattened plane and directing fanouts away from the root segment rather than integrating them into the root segment. Even with this significant change to the harness, the drawing updates better than ever. There have been continued efforts to enhance quality and consistency while working with flattened roots. 3D root changes such as deleting or adding segments, modifying segment length, add or delete connector, changing wires should all properly update the flattened route and drawing without issue. There have also been updates to flattened drawings to provide cleaner output and improved workflows. Show and hide flattened root items has a new option to create an automatic leader line for each connector table. A nice visual link, especially in a busy drawing. You can use these boxes to insert tables that were removed or not added. Connector balloons now display quantity, similar to wire balloons. And a new option to show hide in the form board frame. There's better logic placement, connector tables are placed outside of the drawing view and do not overlap each other. If you add a new column to a connector table, SolidWorks will now prompt you to apply to other tables, as will formatting changes to the header. This also triggers a prompt. Speaking of tables, I think this component property is incorrect. In 2025, I don't have to be reliant on an electrical 2D user to make changes to manufacturer properties. I can run the update or replace data commands from the 3D side. Let's make a couple of changes here in 3D. Any drawings from SolidWorks, like this form board flattened harness drawing, are automatically updated in the electrical project whenever I save the SolidWorks drawing. This is thanks to a new dynamic link between SolidWorks and electrical project drawings. Previously, if you had made any changes to the SolidWorks drawing, you had to click the Create Project Drawing button again to replace the existing project drawing. As you can see, the workflow flexibility in electrical between 3D and 2D is better than ever. Since the project drawing is now intelligent blocks, you can easily organise and refine the 3D drawings from within electrical schematic. Furthermore, there's a new annotate tab with commands relevant to this task. From this tab, you can make changes to 2D drawings from 3D and flattened routing documents. Save time editing flattened harness and control panel drawings since there's no need to go back to the 3D source drawing. 
It's a really nice 2D to 3D to 2D fluid workflow we now have in the Electrical Professional 2025. Our design changes look good and one more step before we generate a revised PDF. I want to tidy up my document numbering. In 2025, there's a new option in the project configuration for marking the drawing by folder. Since I like to use folders, this way of numbering fits my style much better. There's a lot of improvements to Electrical 2025, including Zoom to fit on open, new Excel import options, improved cable management, a structured component tree, intelligent 3D drawing creation, a dynamic drawing link, an annotate tab, the ability to update data from 3D, drawing mark numbers, distributed terminals and improvements to terminal strip drawings. Thanks very much for watching and look out for our next video on what's new in SolidWorks Simulation for 2025.